welcome to Katrina's Creations. Today is episode 315 and I have several finished objects. The first one, if you saw the thumbnail for this video, I knitted a chicken. So here is my little chicken. It's a whimsical chicken. I didn't want to have a totally brown chicken. I thought it would be boring. So uh, yes, here is my little knitted chicken. This is for craft fair. And I think when I make this next time, these cute little feet, um, when I make it next time, I might put like either a sweater or an apron on it. So I could do this body. It's all done in, the, the body itself is done in one piece. So I could part way through the body, like have a little apron come down here and end over here with a little crocheted um, edging to it and a little bow to tie it in place. So that's a thought, a little apron or a little sweater if it's a boy chicken. Well, I guess if it's a boy chicken, it would be a rooster, but you know what I mean. So anyway, there is my little chicken. My other finished object, I have not blocked yet, but I finished the Yakima cabled scarf. So like I said, it has not been blocked yet. There was some thought because my blocking boards are upstairs and because of my knee surgery, I can't go up the stairs yet. There was some thought of asking Dave to block it for me. That thought lasted about this, about this long. No, we'll wait and I'll do it myself because Dave's never blocked anything and wouldn't have a clue what in the world I was talking about. So anyway, here is what it looks like up close. There, you can see it. I think when it stretches out, without it being stretched out, it's about eight inches wide, maybe. But I think once I block it, I think I can pull it out to about 10 inches, between nine and 10 inches. And it'll also get longer. As it is right now, it fits like this, which is perfectly fine. But I know I can get some more stretch out of this and probably get another maybe five, six inches out of it lengthwise as well. It does feel very nice and soft and warm. So very excited. Um, yeah, so as soon as I can make it up the stairs, this is coming upstairs with me to get blocked. So that is project number two that I finished. So then I have some works in progress that I have started on. This this is a rabbit. It does not look like a rabbit right now. I'm getting ready to do the, the legs from here and then the arms get attached and the ears. This is a tutorial. It's for a free pattern. It is on La Petite, La Petite Saint Crochet it has this pattern. It's for, a, it's called a Biddy Bunny. And those of you who are crocheters, give me a little help with this. I am using the right size yarn. It calls for worsted weight and a 3.5 millimeter hook, which I am using. I don't think I'm a loose or a tight crocheter, as you can see here. I think I'm kind of average, but um, this is bigger than hers. So I'm not quite sure what I've done. Right now it looks like an ET or an alien, but uh, it is it is going to be a bunny. But this is her Bitsy Bunny pattern. It's a ben Benjamin Bunny. It's the boy bunny. Uh, it gets a little scarf on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the scarf or something different. Um, we're going to wait and see what the bunny looks like when we finish. So if you have ideas as to why my crocheting looks bigger than hers, please let me know because this is probably a quarter bigger than the one that she's doing. And like I said, I'm using the right size yarn, right size hook. My tension seems to be okay. I will say when I crochet, I do not crochet at the hook. I tend to, to go all the way up the shank. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know. But anyway, if those of you who are more experienced with crochet, please let me know down below in the comments what you think might be the problem. So anyway, that is one project that I'm working on. Then I started, and there's more about this later in the video, but I started a mitered square. This is not going to be a blanket this time. This is going to be 
there we get it to focus a little bit better this is actually going to be a cardigan or a top I'm not sure which I like making these mitered squares they're just fun and I was in the mood to do it and I've got a bunch of scrap yarn so that's what I figured I would do with it now you'll notice when you look at these that these three squares kind of look a little curly that will block out eventually but when you compare it to these two these two don't the reason being these were part of a yarn advent scarf I made years ago it was an infinity scarf I do have a pattern for it over in Lovecrafts I didn't like the way the colors played together so I literally ripped the whole thing out and saved the yarn so it had been knitted and sat there for several years and so that's why this yarn looks a little curly compared to these two here and it's funny because I have cowls made out of both of these yarns but this was just leftovers that were left over. So I have that project going on and then I am working on this pattern. This is a free pattern. It's by I Like Crochet. It's called the Sierra Swancho. So there it is here and I am actually starting on this section right in here and the sleeves. The last time I showed this a couple weeks ago, I had run out of yarn. Well, all I had left was this. So this is my fifth ball of yarn and I knew I was going to need more so I ordered some I found it on eBay this is um, Ulta Ulta Ultra Alpaca Ultra Alpaca by Barocco they still have this yarn but not in this particular color this is the winter white color now what I ordered is not the same dye lot so I've held off doing anything in case I had to kind of play back and forth between the existing skein so that the color change was not real obvious but when I held it up, it is so close. I think I got lucky there. So let me show you what I have done of the border so far. Uh, let's see if I can hold it this way. There you can see it. It's like shell stitches. So I've gone one time around. Well, I did the increase and then I've done the shell stitching right here one time around. So I haven't gotten all that far because the yarn just came in the other day. But here is what it overall looks like right now. This is one of the arms. So there it is. And I could use this as short sleeve, but it I've got the yarn. I'm going to make it long sleeved. That's the way it's written. And there it is here. So yeah and you wear this over top of something because it is it is definitely peekaboo type of and you can see even in this picture she's wearing it over top of like a tank top or something so yes so those are the projects that i am working on what have you all been working on this week <music> Last week I finished up Aunt Dimity and the Wishing Well, which was a really cute little story. And all the, the neighbors in this little Cotswold village in England um, were making wishes at this wishing well. And the, the wishes were coming true, but sometimes those weren't working out quite the way they, they were hoping them to. Um, kind of reminded me of Fantasy Island or something like that, but it was with a wishing well. It was really cute. Um, so I finished that and I've started another book in the Aunt Dimity series. This one is called Aunt Dimity and the Duke. And I literally am just into the first five or six pages. So I haven't gotten started a whole lot so far. So that is what I am reading. Now Wednesday's video, I got an acquisition. It came in this cute little cat bag. 
This is for the yarn advent calendar for December. I already have some items. We're going to be doing two yarn advent calendars in December. Um, I have one that has some items in it already. And then because I started making this uh, scrappy cardigan or pullover or whatever it turns out to be, I decided, hmm, what else should I get? Maybe I should get some more mini skeins. So I have lots of, I have lots of yarn to work with to get this started. But I also bought some more mini skeins that will be going into December's uh, yarn advent calendar. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek because even though I'm seeing them now, I'll forget what they look like by December. And so, yeah, Wednesday's video, I am going to be doing a little review of this yarn that came from here. It was from Knitty Kitty Bags on Etsy. And I bought 20 skeins, so I'm still a couple skeins short, but that's, actually I have 20, she gave me an extra skein, so I have 21, so I'm four skeins short, but that's not a big deal. I've got plenty of yarn upstairs, and I'll probably have leftovers from projects that I can add for those other four skeins. Now it's time for... So in our Come and Get It section today, Lion Brand is offering 35% off of their yarn and kits. Um, it ends on Tuesday the 21st at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is Lion Brand. All of the links to the sales are down below in the description box if you want to check them out. Knit Picks is offering 30% off of their overstocked yarns in select colors also until the 21st. Um, this one especially use the link down below because it's not on all of their yarn. It's on specific color. So you need to follow the link to get to the to the correct one. I, I'm not sure if you can get to it through the regular site or not, but I know you can get through it through the link because I set it up like that. So anyway, that is Knit Picks 30% off of their overstocked yarn in select colors. And then Love Lovecrafts, now this is the U.S., I'm not sure what the U.K. is running, but Lovecrafts, the U.S., is running 35% off of their Paint Box brand yarns and their Mila Mia yarns, and that ends on Thursday, the 23rd. So that is Lovecrafts. And then any other sales that I find out about, I will pass on to you. So uh, that is it for today. Me and my chicken say goodbye, and I will see you again on Wednesday for the little mini skein yarn haul. Bye, everybody.